I love humanitarian aid, and by humanitarian aid, I mean bombs. There's an odd belief that humanitarian aid means food and water. Send them some canned beans, they'll be fine. But you can't eat a meal when you're beheaded. In a world where ghouls rule and death is their dialect, bombs trump bread. And we make the best bombs and deliver them faster than dominoes without the breadsticks. But we need to remind ourselves, if it isn't us who brings it, then who? Whenever we pick up and leave, that vacuum is filled only by monsters of misery. Your hell is their happiness. Pacifists will shout, think of all the terrorists your bombs will create. But their pacifism is directly proportional to their distance from risk. And historically, killing bad guys doesn't make more bad guys. Killing Saddam Hussein or bin Laden created no new terrorists, despite that prediction. And I don't recall any terror movements beginning in Japan after August 9th, 1945. America's ability to end conflict is the only thing the world's got left. It's the only prayer that Christians, Jews, Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, and atheists have in living to see tomorrow. Islamic extremism exists, exists only to spread, and you never negotiate with a stalker. Our response can only come from above in the shape of a 500-pound RSVP.